Hello, Paleo FX Change Agents. Michelle Norris here, and I am really excited and ecstatic about who we have here today. This is her very first Facebook Live, and I'm super stoked that I'm the one that she's doing this with. So I wanted to um, introduce, first of all, she's like my kindred sister, spirit, soul, whatever you want to call it. Just I, I absolutely adore and love her, really have gotten to know her and really form a great friendship with her over the last year and um, plan on doing a lot of stuff with her in, for, uh, in business and everything. She will be speaking at Health Entrepreneur FX this year on April the 25th. And let me say, you may not know who she is, but you know what she has done. And you're going to hear that in a few minutes. Um, she's my very good friend, Amber Spears. And I'm going to read you real quick her, her bio, which is freaking phenomenal considering she how young she is. It makes me feel like a slacker. Oh. Anyway, she Amber Spears is recognized as an industry, industry thought leader in the affiliate marketing arena and as a prolific connector and networker. She's the co-founder of East Fifth Avenue, a high-end boutique affiliate management company specializing in health and personal development offers. She's the creator the creator of, geez, I can't talk today, <laughs> and the creator of the Affiliate Accelerator, a 90-day affiliate management coaching program designed to take underachieving or new affiliate managers and turn into competent, competent, high-performing closers. In the last two years, Amber and her teams have done 34 million, get that, 34 million, 34 million in front end launch sales, generating over 6 million leads and over eight figures a year for evergreen clients and internal offers. Her coaching clients have gone on to do over 300 million in sales from her systems from Affiliate Accelerator and Corporate Consulting. She has trained and coached dozens of the top performing affiliate managers and teams in the industry and is a highly sought after trainer, coach, and speaker. She will not only be at Health Entrepreneur FX, she will also be doing a um, workshop at Paleo FX, and she will also have office hours in our VIP lounge and we'll have a booth at Paleo FX. So if any of those things you can't make it to, you've got lots of opportunities to um, uh, meet Amber. And I'm so stoked that she's going to be there. Um, you guys, she's just amazing. And this, the work she does is incredible. So thank you, Amber, for being here. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. I'm I'm pumped, and I I love that my first one ever is with you because you're my one of my favorite people of all time. So I'm excited. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. You're one of my favorite people too. Um, so tell tell us all. Okay, so um, besides East Fifth Avenue, she also has an incredible event of her own called Mimosa Mastermind, which I'm super stoked to be part of, and I'm going to tell you. Um, amazing. I stole a lot of her ideas for HEFX for this year and she told me steal whatever you want. So that was really super cool that she was like that. But um, tell us what exactly does East Fifth Avenue um, do? Yes. Uh, so, you know, we created it to be um, what we felt would be an answer to some of the things in the space, especially in the internet marketing space that we felt like uh, work being done at a at a really high level. So uh, East Fifth Avenue is kind of like the umbrella company. And then we have two parts of it. We have an agency and we have an academy. So on the agency side, we basically do it for you as your sales team. And it's a very kind of boutique style agency. So we only take six clients a year. Um, and that's what we've done. Like, you know, Chris Work Square One Protocol launch with Dr. Mark Hyman's Broken Brain, Thyroid Secret with Michael and Isabella Wenz. Um, you know, all those kind of offers, Ari Witten's, like we do a bunch of those in addition to uh, having our own offers. So we have keto cookbooks uh, that we started last year. We sold around 500,000 keto cookbooks in the last year, us just kind of trying it on for size. Um, and then- we're just trying it on for size, sold 500,000, that's all. <laughs> so we're very fortunate because we partner with the right people. Yeah. Right? The big yeah. part of, of the space is like, who do you partner with? And, and I've, I've messed up and I've partnered with the wrong people multiple times. So I've been fortunate enough to kind of get a feel now through trial and error of like, who's the right fit? How do our skills complement each other? Setting expectations from the beginning, um, that kind of stuff. We're also rolling out with our own gut health protocol uh, as well this year. So we're really excited about that. So we have the the agency where we do it for you. We don't take that many clients on. And my business mentor, Chris Guerrero, who you've talked to, uh, mm -hmm. told me a couple years ago, he says, Amber, like you can't keep 
like turning people away. You have a three year to five year waiting list. Like you should teach people to do what you do. And I was like, no one, no one wants that. Like no one wants that. That's crazy. And he was like, just put together a PowerPoint for me and send it over. So I did. And that turned into the Academy. So now we have the Academy with East Fifth and we actually officially started a year ago and we've had 60 companies go through it. And those 60 companies have gone on to generate around 300 million. So through our methods, 300 million, our agency has done around 34 million, uh, primarily in docu-series and like PLF style launches. Um, and then we also have our eight figures a year that we do separately from that for clients and our own internal offers. So affiliate management is like the name of our game um, and we love it. And we're also trying to kind of teach best practices and elevate the industry a bit um, and show people how to do things in a more professional way. So structured deals, uh, everything in writing, professional uh, negotiation strategies, customer service, high ticket selling, kind of all that stuff's wrapped into it. Awesome. And um, you guys have a, um, a mission um, that yeah. you plan on carrying out. What's What is that all about? I think it's a personal mission that Alon and I share. And I think it's also something that Brett shares where, you know, we, we want to figure out how to uh, elevate the space in such a way where you're really getting an ROI from everything that you do and you're, you know, holding yourself accountable and you're also creating long-term partnerships with clients. So that's what East Fit's about. That's what Mimosa is about. Um, and you know, it, it's a big, you know, it's kind of a big ask. Like we are an agency, but we really believe in, you know, bringing together a real affiliate management protocol and system that I think a lot of people haven't systematized. A lot of this space is like, you know, this Michelle, it's like verbal handshakes, like, yes, we can do it. But you know, really nailing down like what what happens if something goes wrong? What happens if something goes well? What are our expectations on each side? What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Like really trying to to bring that to the forefront and and make it a lot more professional, right? And we really want to focus on ROI and 10 nexting any revenue that you guys spend with us. Awesome. And see, uh, so I got to tell you, we are getting ready to um, launch with um, Amber. Uh, I, I not launch. I'm sorry. Wrong words. We are getting ready to go through the program with Amber as well. We're planning on sending our affiliate team um, through the program. And so we're super excited about that. We um, we feel like this is going to make such a huge difference in the ROI and the um, the uh, the offers that we bring to the table for our affiliate partners and for really making things successful on both sides of the table. Because I think that's where um, you get a big mess. Sometimes we don't do all of the all the things that you're supposed to do as far as creating the expectations. What is what am I supposed to do? What am what are you supposed to do? What are we believing that we're going to end up ultimately getting out of this? And how do we actually map that and and quantify it at the end? So super excited about that. You have some success stories. You want to share those with us? Yeah, we actually do have uh, quite a few. So um, one of the ones that sticks out to me is probably Trugenics. Uh, we've been working with them for the last two years. Um, and they're already a very successful like company doing personal development, phys you know, info products. They moved into supplements. Uh, when I first started working with them, they were doing around 100000 a month in affiliate sales. And just with a few tweaks and systems and processes, they've been doing around $2 million a month every month. Um, from from going through that, um, you know, we have people like the Thyroid Secret that went from 82 affiliates to 1,400 affiliates with us. You know, they went from uh, about 150,000 names on their list to adding almost 600,000 new names. Um, you know, we've we've done that over and over and over and over again. People like Mark Hyman and Chris Wark, you know, doubling, tripling their list size. In fact, Ari Witten's currently in a launch right now. He doubled his list size uh, in the last month working with us on a, on an actual launch. I think we're gonna do you know, well over a seven figure launch on that one cart just opened. So, you know, it's really systems and processes and, and really figuring out, you know, what it what is the meat on the bone? And I love what you said, you know, about expectation on each side, because I think most of us, when we're talking about a deal, we think about all the ways it can go right. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, it's going to be awesome. It's gonna be easy. Like mm -hmm. they don't think about all the hours, all the systems, all the processes. And then you have another small segment of people that only think about what can go wrong or what's in it for me. And so really making sure that we map that out clearly, we have those expectations, I think is so, so, so important. And that's part of it, right? It's part of the, the training, the academy. It's also part of work um, because we, we always want everything to go right. But I think, you know, Michelle, that life is a roller coaster. Um, you know, it, things, things always go wrong. Um, it's how you handle those things and, you, and, and the system that you have in place 
when before things go wrong. So I, I also don't see very many people doing this, which is most people address the problems as they happen, right? right? I'd rather address the problems head on and talk about what happens. So if you're mad, how do you communicate? If, if this deal goes poorly, kind of bringing that to the forefront, I think that makes doing business with us and our clients a lot easier. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, if you're prepared, things tend to not go that direction. <laughs> if you're prepared for it and, and ready to go, then that's when things don't happen. It's when you're not prepared and you just kind of go, oh, crap, the shit has, has hit the fan. What do we do now? So, yeah, I totally agree with you. And that's one of the things that I think that we have really gotten. Um, we have really started to put in place with PaleoFX over the last four years of really, truly understanding that that the systems and the processes are what actually make us successful and actually can keep us from moving um, moving into a higher level and to becoming more successful and to actually um, gaining more traction. Um, so I think that's been one of our core things that we've been really working on. And so I really appreciate one of the, we don't, you know, we don't know what we don't know about affiliate management and, and those type of programs. So always surrounding yourself with the people and getting the people that you know that are doing the, something in an area that you need to go into is finding those people that are doing it and doing it right and doing it well. And um, that's one of the reasons why we're partnering with um, Amber and East Fifth Avenue is um, because they're the best. And we have heard that over and over and over again. And um, and then just personally knowing who Amber is and her team and how great they are, it's wonderful to op, you know get a chance to do business with people that are like that and so and that are like minded. So um, super excited about doing business with you um, over this next year and um, and it, in the beyond because I believe that that will happen in the beyond too. So. Um, Tell us a little bit about what you're going to talk about at Health Entrepreneur FX so they know what they're going to get. And then we're going to also talk about Paleo FX and what you plan to do there in a minute. Yeah. So what I want to teach at uh, Health Entrepreneur FX is the top four secrets that have helped us make $34 million on product launches in two years. So, um, you know, I'm kind of going to pull back the curtain. I don't have endless amount of time we have about 20 minutes to teach but in those 20 minutes i can promise you that i'm going to give some very specific feedback on what we've learned and ways that you can implement those strategies in your own product launches or even your own evergreen revenue because a lot of what i'm teaching applies to launches it applies to evergreen applies to your affiliate program in general and i would even go as far as to say that what i'm teaching is fundamental selling principles that you can use in any of your businesses offline or online that I think are really important. So I'm going to be pulling back the kimono to speak and really kind of showing that to you guys. And then, uh, and the, do you want me to jump into paleo effects? I don't know. I'll, I'll, before you go into paleo effects, talk about your breakout as well. Yeah. So the We're going to do a one hour breakout. Yes. So the breakout session, um, actually we have a corporate consulting business. So we work with people like Agora Financial, um, you know, and Agora Omni Vista, uh, Trugenics is a corporate client. Uh, we have people like that that we work with at a very high level. And so they pay us $45,000 to come out and teach them for two days and kind of work with them ongoing. Um, and I'm going to teach a snippet of that. So I'm going to come in and actually work with you and give you some of the worksheets that we use with our corporate clients and go through it and basically give you a score like here are the things you should pay attention to here are the things that look weak to me here are the things that we look at to strengthen it up things that you might not even think about things that you know are going poorly but you don't know how to fix um so really kind of giving you those those very practical tools because what i want is i want you to walk away with an, an outline or a blueprint of what you can do to improve your own affiliate marketing department or if you were to have one if you don't have one yet you know, what to look for when building it. And I think that's really important to you, Michelle. It's important mm -hmm. to me and everything that we do is for your attendees to come and to get value at the event, not just, you know, the kind of long tail follow up. You know, I think most people do that at events. I think most people are like, oh, I'm going to pay, you know, a couple thousand dollars either for the ticket plus the hotel plus the food plus the travel. And then a year or two from now, I'm going to look back on that event and say, I made money from that event. I know how important it is to you and I know how important it is to me that the attendees not only come and get value from being there and make connections, but they're getting an ROI from coming to the event. So that's why I'm bringing some of my best kind of tools and techniques 
for your audience, because I know that's really important for you too, that they get some really tactical and practical kind of selling techniques and, and methods. Awesome. I am. I'm so excited about that, you guys, because I can tell you just from everybody that I've talked to that has um, gotten Amber's training and has gotten in, in um, has had the opportunity to work with Amber in any capacity has had tremendous ROI. And that is one of the reasons why um, I know a lot of people have noticed that on the HEFX side, they're like, wow, that's really changed dramatically what we had people that were really super well known in the paleo space coming and doing those things. And what we realized is you need actual great that those, some of those people are there and a lot of them will actually be there. They will be as special guests in the audience, which is really great because they still can give some of their expertise and, and really um, be part of what's going on. And you can talk to them and get your, get that kind of thing. But the actual practical application of what you need to do in your business to be successful. Those are, that's why we um, went to seek out who's the best in each of these areas, because these are the areas where the, um, our health practitioners, all the people in this space really, really, really need help. And the thing is, is at the end of the day, you can only, if you are a health practitioner and you're working one-on-one -on -one with clients, your reach is extremely limited. Your ability to scale is extremely limited. And so you need to have leverage. You need to have partners that you're working with that are giving the people that you do business with, your clients, your patients are giving them really great information and everything, which happens through affiliates, which gives you another revenue stream. Because at the end of the day, we're one person. And if you're taking on one-on-one, -on -one, it's really difficult to scale and actually make something really truly happen there. And that's where affiliate marketing comes in to play. And that is one of the crucial things that has been missing for Palo FX until now. And so now we're just really excited about this. And so just wanted to tell you why this is important because you may not even have affiliate stuff on your brain. You may not even know what that's about. Um, but having affiliate, great affiliate partners and a great affiliate program can actually really increase and scale your business and, and um, your leverage. And you have, you have anything to add to that? <laughs> well, I love that you said that. Like, I'm excited because, um, you know, I think for those of you that have an affiliate program, I'll talk to that specifically right now, which is, um, you know, I think we all kind of understand that um, affiliate revenue can be all over the place. I think part of that is you don't have good systems and processes and you probably don't have the right person in that role or they're not trained properly. So that's a, a separate issue. But more than that, um, you know, th like, when people start to get successful, I think they start to forget about their affiliate program because they're like, I'm scaling on Google, I'm scaling on Facebook, but algorithms are very fickle creatures, right? Mm -hmm. Especially for us in the natural health space. You know, we are also a target mm -hmm. for, for big pharma, for big food, for things like this. I think we know that and that we are starting to get more and more you know, eliminated from being able to buy more and more media online. And so this is very important for all of us to be aware of is that Facebook, Google, radio ads, online, offline, these should all be legs of your table that hold your company steady. And your affiliate revenue should also be a table leg that you look at. And when you stabilize it, it's going to be the thing that can pay for your team every month, the thing that will pay for your ads, the things that will pay for your inventory. And if you get that right and you smooth out that roller coaster, you have a very stable table leg. And it's never going to scale as large as being able to buy on Facebook or Google, but it can be very competitive to that. And in fact, it can be something that you're not going to have to worry that the algorithm is going to change for influence or for relationships. It's not, right? So as long as you have those good relationships, you have systems around it, like you'll be fine. And I think the thing about Paleo FX I'm so excited to be doing with you is you hit a vein years ago when you started doing this. Like, I don't know anybody who's like, I'm going to start a conference and I'm going to have 800 people there my first year. Right. Mm -hmm. And it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Like you've hit a vein around what people want, what consumers want and what health influencers want. And also how do we navigate those relationships with you so that they're profitable for you and they're profitable for the partners that you work with. And it's seamless. Right. It, it's it's like common sense, but it's not common practice. The things that we're teaching. And when you see it, you're going to be like, oh, I get it easily implemented into my current systems. But like you have this amazing conference. I'm so excited to come and check it out because I've heard 
I mean, this is my first year going too. It's like, I've known you've been hanging out, but it's my first year coming. And all I hear from everybody who's ever gone is you have to go to Paleo FX. It's one of the best events ever. And how do we take that and make it a year long experience? And that's part of what the affiliate program that I'm be teaching you is. And how do we make sure that that experience stays consistent for you so you can keep buying ads for the for 2020 and do all these things where it's very stable for you. You're not worried about it. Um, and that's really what I hope to teach your team when they start working with us in May. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, I am super excited about it as well. So you're going to be doing a workshop at Paleo FX. She's also going to be sitting on my panel. Um, everyone is an entrepreneur. And um, uh, actually, it's the full title is in the new economy. Everyone is an entrepreneur. She will be on that panel. And I'm super excited for you to hear um, her talk about that as well. She's very passionate about entrepreneurs and helping entrepreneurs. So um, I couldn't think of a better panel for her to be on. So, um, but you're going to do a workshop at Palo FX. What are you planning on doing um, at Palo FX there? Um, so one of the things that I also teach on a lot is how do you get an ROI from events? Um, I have my corporate clients spend a lot of money sending their affiliate managers, um, my owners and my actual eight agency that we represent and the academy are always wondering like, hey, do I have to go to every event? And if I do, how do I make sure I'm getting ROI? If do I have to send my affiliate manager to an event? If I do, how do I make sure of that? So we're also going to be teaching that. We're going to show you how to have a networking scorecard, a pre-event plan of attack, a during event, you know, I, you know, plan of attack and a post event follow-up. So I really think the fortune's in the follow-up. So yeah. how do we make sure that that's all turned around? So I'm going to teach that, which is also something that we teach our corporate clients. Um, and then in addition, at the office hours, we're going to be able to do audits of your actual affiliate department, give you a score, kind of really talk to you. And like, I, I all I want to do is um, give you some very specific feedback on what I'm seeing. Like, hey, you're, you know, for example, I might look at it and say, okay, you have a $20 CPA and a supplement, which is significantly under what the industry pays. So most people are starting at 60 to $80 CPA. So if you're doing 20, it's non-competitive. You might want to think about doing this, this, and this instead, right? So really kind of giving specific feedback on what we're seeing and trying to help them, you know, get excited again about their affiliate program and also showing them, hey, here's how you get an ROI at this event. Here's what I would do when I'm approaching this big influencer because there's going to be a lot of influencers there. And so how do you approach them in a win-win give first mentality but also make sure that there's business flowing two ways what are things to be aware of uh, what are some danger zones what are some things that you shouldn't be saying to affiliate uh partners etc so i really want to help kind of help people get on kind of the same language and kind of the same understanding so that we can all do better business together oh amen i like it sister hold on we have a question we have a question Question from Frank, what are affiliates in this situation? Oh, it's a great question, Frank. I get this a lot. So um, an affiliate partner to me is typically an influencer or someone with an email list or a Facebook following um, that you basically have them endorse your products for a commission uh, when they sell something to you. So like, for example, if you're on Michelle's list right now and she was talking about Ben Greenfield's Kion bars or Kion coffee, and you really, really liked it, and she drinks it every day, she loves it, she endorses it, and you end up buying it, or you, you know, she gets a commission on that. She's an affiliate of Ben. So um, it's one type of marketing that we use, just like if you were on Google or Facebook, if you saw an ad for Kion bars, you would click on that, except this time, Kion's going to pay Facebook for that because they're they're prepaying for these types of things. When you're working with an affiliate, you're not prepaying for eyeballs. You're basically forming a relationship with these people. You're saying, hey, I believe in your products. I believe in you. And I'm going to share this with my community. And because I'm sharing it and I use my email list and my and my company to pay for my team's salaries, this is going to be part of it. I'm going to find the best of the best to partner with. And I'm going to use my relationship with them to become an affiliate of each other, right? So just as Ben is might be, you know, endorsing Paleo FX because he goes and he speaks and he believes in the mission, then any but tickets that he sells, he might get an affiliate commission on. If that makes sense. Yeah. Does that make sense, Frank? Um, and yes, 
Ben does sell and is an affiliate and does get paid. <laughs> he's one of our best affiliates, actually. Um, well, he believes in it and he's a perfect fit because he lives and breathes it. I think, I think that's one thing I really want to drill down on this particular topic is it's not about the money. It's about the relationships that you're building around it. It's, you know, Michelle would be so off brand if she was going out and partnering with just anybody. Like it's her reputation that she's built up over the years. It's her, you know, she's trying these products. She's consuming these products. She has a relationship with these influencers. This is something that she takes very seriously. This is a part of her brand. I think that's the biggest difference between affiliate marketing and any other type of marketing is you are putting your own name, your own company brand on the line when you start doing these endorsements. It's something that we take extremely seriously. All of us as quote unquote influencers, because this is our tribe. It's very different than you having a company, you're just buying ad space for it on Google or Facebook. Like everything that you hear, everything that you see these people doing when you're at Paleo FX, if you see them doing live streams with each other and all that stuff, yes, they're absolutely friends. And sometimes they have these affiliate relationships if it's a fit, right? right. It's always like this. And I think I, I think it's so important to drill it down that because you'll see that you know, you might see and be like, oh, they're just doing it for the money. Absolutely not. Money is a is frosting on the cake and it's part of what they do to pay their teams for the hard work that they do. But also the 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 partnerships have to be so carefully curated and thought of for these things to be a success. Agreed. Yeah. And the thing is, is that like, uh, yeah, it would be completely off brand for us to uh, be an affiliate for for Coca-Cola, for instance. Yeah. Totally. Right. Brand wouldn't ever happen. There's a lot of companies. Um, again, we have a big, huge expo floor at Pillow FX. Every person, uh, every product, every um, company on that floor is vetted and is um, checked that all of their ingredients are checked to make sure they're not part of our banned ingredients. And so, yeah, we definitely, our reputation is really super important to us. And apparently we took care of Frank's um, questions. So we're, we're good to go there. But yeah. Um, Anyway, well, I know that we are in, nearing the end of our time, so I want to make sure that I, um, I'm i mindful of your, I know you're super, super busy getting ready for all of this and have launches and stuff that you, you guys are working on. And um, I so appreciate you um, coming to HEFX, coming to Pillow FX. You guys, if you want an opportunity to learn from Amber, HEFX has 10 tickets left. That's it, we're almost sold out. Yeah, so we're really, um, we we sell out every single year. It happens every single time. And so we've got 10 tickets left. So if you want a seat at that mastermind, trust me, you do, because I'm going to tell you just to see her, she alone without everybody else that's gonna be there is worth the price of admission because they will impact your bottom line. They will impact your ROI, I promise you. So you want to definitely be there. Same thing, Paleo Effects, definitely want to be there because, um, gosh, you got, you've got all of, <laughs> everybody from Health Entrepreneur FX just about is going to be at Paleo Effects as well. And you have a great opportunity there to get a chance to meet them and go a little deeper. But the networking and the fun and the parties and all of that stuff as part of Pale FX is going to be amazing. And you don't want to miss that. You should have total FOMO if you don't have your ticket yet. And you should make sure that you don't have absolute FOMO. Um, why am I having trouble with this thing? It's not doing what I want it to do. Oh, there we go. Um, anyway, thank you so much, Amber. Will you tell everybody how they can follow you, get informa more information about you, all of that kind of stuff? Yeah, of course. Um, so uh, you can follow us at eastfifthavenue.com. Uh, also, if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, we actually have something set up for people who are interested in learning how to build their own program or optimize the current one that they have. So you can go to www.eastfifthavenue.com slash gift. Uh, you can opt in and get one of our reports. Uh, it has amazing information in it. And I'm just really excited to be there. Michelle, I just really appreciate you. Um, always believing in me. I'm so excited for you to be an expert at Mimosa too. Yeah. <laughs> you can teach our tribe how to build what you've been building because you have such a unique and wonderful skill set that I think is so important for all of us entrepreneurs to remember that you can build a, a following like you have built, but you can do it with integrity. 
-hmm. and you can do it in a way that feels really good and also attracts the type of tribe that you're trying to build and repels the people who aren't the right fit. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited for you to share your genius with us in Cabo in October. Um, and also just really excited to teach your team starting in May and really excited to be there. It's, it's an incredible honor. I really appreciate you. Oh, yes. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to spend some time with you. So um, you guys, if you are watching this on replay, please hashtag replay. Make sure you share this with your friends. Um, this is excellent information. Just sitting here talking to Amber is she, just here. Great information. So share it and make sure that you you and a friend come to HEFX and PaleoFX and get a chance to meet Amber in person. Talk to her. She is She's even 10 times better in person. I'm just telling you, she's awesome. So um, you guys, I am so honored that you joined us here today and please make sure you share hashtag replay and um, we will see you guys at Health Entrepreneur FX and Paleo FX very soon, less than two weeks away. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you, Michelle. And thank you.